Hey everybody, it's Claudia. So as you guys can see from the title below and from how close the camera is to my face, I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. This is my holiday inspired theme Christmas makeup look, obviously with a red lip and a sparkly eye. So if you want to know how to achieve this look, keep watching. And also if you'd like some outfit inspiration for the holidays, in the down bar will be my last video which was a lookbook. So definitely go check that out and let's just jump right into the tutorial. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to be using is my Benefit Pore Professional Primer. I'm just going to be taking a little bit of that in my hand and smoothing that all over my face. I got this in the Benefit Advent Calendar, which you would have seen if you're following me on Instagram, because I've been posting every day there. And this stuff is kind of a weird texture, it's like really, really smooth, but I've been really loving it, so I think I will definitely be picking up a bigger version of it. And it smells really good too. And then so you don't have to look at my pimples throughout this whole video, <laughs> I will quickly cover them up and I'm using my NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Light One Chantilly. And I love this concealer. It's my one of my favorite concealers of all time. And I'm just gonna blend that in with a brush. Super, super easy to blend. As you can see, do you ever have those stubborn pimples that just won't, they just won't cover? Plus these ones are kind of bad, so I wasn't expecting them to be super easy. <laughs> Next I am taking a paint pot in the color Vintage Selection. I believe this is a permanent MAC product, but this is going to help keep your eyeshadow on longer. It's going to help kind of boost the color and it's going to help prevent creasing. These I also like to wear just by themselves as well little mascara on the weekend and you just have you look put together it's all good but you really just took five minutes to do your makeup before you ran out the door and this I like to put on with my finger just because it kind of melts it into the skin a little bit better I find anyway now I'm going to be taking a quite a stiff brush so that's gonna really help when putting on this pigment but I'm taking the pigment English Guild again from MAC. It is really really pretty. It's like a kind of almost brown champagne color. It's super gorgeous and I'm going to be taking some Fix Plus. It's just a little mini guy and spritzing my brush and then dipping it into just about that much on the brush. And you're just gonna pop it on your lid. I just think it's so so pretty. Then you're gonna spritz again and do the other eye. Yeah, it's like a really pretty golden champagne color. I just really love it. I'm bringing it a little bit into the tear duct, like so. <laughs> and then to intensify the color even more, I'm going to take my Lorac Mega Pro palette and I'm going to be using the color Cashmere down there just with the same little brush. And I'm just gonna pop that over my lid to kind of amplify that color and just sort of lock it into place. I kind of like to set my pigments if that's, I don't know if anyone else does that, but I kind of just like to set them in place. And this color is very, very similar to the English Guild color. So it works perfectly. Next, I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, and in this palette, I'm going to be using the color Amaretto, which is just this dark one over here in the corner, on a fluffy brush. And that is going right in the crease. And how dark you want your crease is totally personal preference. And then obviously you're going to do the other side. I'm just using windshield wiper motions. And then after you've blended everything, if you want to go back in with the Lorac Pro Color, as I'm going to do, you can just to kind of make sure everything's really blended and still has that same color that you originally started off with. And then going back to the chocolate bar palette, I am going to be using the color white chocolate, which is just a matte white color, and placing that on my brow bone. And then I'm also going to take a touch of this gilded ganache color and pop that in between my two colors, the kind of before the crease here just for a nice transition and a little more sparkle. 
So that is gonna be it for the eyes. It's super easy and quick, but still really pretty, and I think a perfect holiday look. And now I'm going to move on to brows, and for brows, I'm going to be using my Give Me Bow, Give Me Bow, Give Me Brow by Benefit in the medium dark color. Because I already have pretty bold brows, um, I like to just set them with a little bit of this stuff, which adds a little bit more color and just kind of grooms everything into shape. And then I'm going to do the other brow, obviously. <laughs> Next, I'm going to grab my NARS Creamy Concealer again and pop this underneath my eyes just to brighten up the area now that we're done with pigments and everything and there's probably going to be no more fallout, so now is the time to highlight under the eyes. And again, I like to use a brush for this just to kind of get it all blended. And when highlighting, it's really, really important to kind of bring it down along the cheekbone as well and sort of onto the nose, just so it doesn't look like you have this like white patch under your eyes. And sort of fade it down onto your cheeks. Next, I'm going in with my MAC Studio Fix in NW10. If they had a lighter color of this, I would so be all over that because it is a little bit too dark for me, but you know, I love it and we make it work. <laughs> and that's the reason I do my concealer first is because I obviously have a liquid concealer and then a powder foundation so it just kind of sets everything and works really nicely. At least it works for me so. And I just put that all over my face. Just all over. And down my neck obviously. <laughs> And now I'm going to take an angled brush with my Sculpt and Shape Powder in the color Bone Beige and Emphasize. This was from the Rocky Horror Collection. And I'm going to take the darker of the two colors, obviously the bronzer, and pop that in my cheekbone to contour down the neck a little bit up. And I like to start with the brush kind of sideways, then to blend I just turn it. And I find that works really, really well. So deposit the color like this, then turn your brush the wider way. That just gives you a really pretty blend. Now I'm taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I am going to be taking this furthest one, the kind of like darky pink color. I think it's really pretty and it's perfect for kind of the fall time and just a bit of a darker cheek. And I'm just going to put that on my cheeks. Now I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Highlighter Powder in the color Pink Glow. This was from her new Scotch on the Rocks collection and it is so pretty. I love this highlighter. Just flipping my brush around, putting that along my cheekbones. Because if you can't wear glitter at Christmas, when can you wear it? <laughs> and now I'm going to curl my eyelashes real quick. And now I'm going to be taking my MAC Studio Sculpt Super Black Lash. This mascara is quite cool because it only has two sets of bristles. I know I've talked about this, but this mascara in a favorites video before, but I just think it is the best for lengthening and curling and getting every single lash. And it is pretty much the only mascara that I'm wearing right now. I just love it. And then I'm also going to put some on my bottom lashes. Then you're also going to want to do the other eye. And a holiday look would not be complete without a red lip. So this is the NARS Magella Satin Lip Pencil. And this is one of my absolute favorite things of all time. I lost my first one and I had to go buy it, a second one because I was just really upset about it. But I love it so much that I repurchased it already. And it's just so smooth and very Christmassy. <laughs> and 
and that is the finished look so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up so I know and while you're down there press the subscribe button because it will alert you every time I put up a new video which is Mondays and Thursdays and if you didn't know I'm also doing vlogmas right now over on my blog which is claudianorris.net it will be linked right in the down bar for you and that's a blog post every single day until Christmas so that you definitely don't want to miss and also Instagram and Twitter and all my like social media links are down in the like down bar so you can follow those to also be updated about everything because I'm posting very regularly almost twice a day on Instagram no definitely twice a day on Instagram this month just to keep you guys updated and all that fun stuff so go follow those if you would like and I'll see you on Monday with uh, I think my last Christmas Carol so I'll talk to you guys then have a great rest of your weekend bye